children do you have? We have two. We have Spencer and Peter Holmes and they're doing really well. Awesome. Hey Paul, come on in. You get to sit by Grandma. We saved you that seat for Margaret. Let's welcome Paul. They are 19 and 21. That's amazing. Aww. Okay, Sky. <laughs> and where do you live? I'm living in British Columbia. We went to Kerr Street Ministries today and met the Filipino church people. So I, uh, he wants to find out more about International Student Ministries so that he can reach out here at Sheridan. Organization. Cool. 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 Yay. So, I was in 1994, almost 25 years ago. So, <clears throat> and married at Chartwell? Yes. And proposed on his knee in an international phone call? Right. Wow. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was, I know it all. But I got, a, I got a telephone call and um, he asked me to marry him. I said, well, are you down in your knees? He said, well, I only get. I only get down on my knees to talk to the Lord, but I'm down on one knee. I thought, well, there's a good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got to tell you a story. He was on a trip to Israel with the, the main this time, right? And whoever else went on the trip, the main group. And this is a story I heard after. And all the uh, women on the spot, grandmothers and mothers, loved him. Wish they had a daughter or a granddaughter to match him up with. <laughs> so the Nora Jean Mains matched him up. <laughs> dum, dum, da, dum. Oh, right. Oh, it's behind you. Look up there. 
See the picture of mom? Paul, grab that picture. Grab that picture with mom in the western wall with the white coat. This one. Right? When we were in Israel many years ago before they were married, um, you just put prayers in the wailing wall. So I put a prayer that's me putting a prayer in the wailing wall. Nice. And Gary. Me? Yes. Who are you and how do you know my mom? I'm Gary. I'm I'm from St. Thomas, Ontario. Before that I was OBC. Before that I was in Goose Bay, Labrador. Before that I was in Edmonton. Oh wow. Before that I was in <laughs> sort of moved around the country in my career. I used I used to work um, with Environment Canada before I finally retired. Um, I belong to my wife Trish here. I like belonging to somebody <laughs> by the way. So I don't have to worry about managing anybody. Well, so I so she manages me very well actually. Um, just a little story. She and I met to talk about engagements. Um, my previous wife passed away with cancer. We were married for 38 years. Um, it was interesting because I'd known Trish a lot. We had known Trish a long time, and she was friends. And we did, I was. I was in St. Thomas at the time, traveling back and forth out west because I knew a lot of people out west. And uh, and one day we were talking on the phone, and she says, "Well, maybe I should come down to St. Thomas." And I, because I'd seen a lot out there, and I said, "Okay, why don't you come down?" She says, "Well, will I buy a two-way ticket or a one-way ticket?" <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I said, "Okay, give, give me a one-way ticket." And anyway, we were in um, we were in in London at Masonville Mall, and my my daughter at the time was getting some jewelry cleaned there, and uh, I was looking at this beautiful set in the window, and I, I just asked one of the ladies there if I could see this set, and it's an engagement ring, ring wedding ring, the whole bit. She brought it out, and um, I was thinking to myself, I really don't want. Her to go back out west. Aww. So um, I said to her, I said, Do you like them, Trish? And she said, Oh, no, they're very nice. And I said, Well, you can have them if you marry me. <laughs> <laughs> now, I wasn't on one knee. I didn't know how this was going to go, so I didn't want to get down on one knee. But, <laughs> but, but in any case, and she started to cry a little bit. And she said, Yes. And, and the three, three ladies there. They all started to cry. <laughs> so, so we ended up getting married, and um, I'm so happy I found somebody else um, because my previous wife, before she passed away, on a pal divorce, she says you should maybe think about going out with one of my friends because she didn't want me to be alone. And it worked out great. And I thank her so much. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, by the way, we've only known, mm -hmm. what, a month, Margaret? Margaret, yeah. Yeah, we've known uh, about a month, maybe, Margaret, we've known you. Yeah, and uh, we just come to know some of the family, for, you know, for, we met Judy out west, actually, to my daughter-in-law out there, and, uh, and uh, we, we heard what Margaret was going through, too, and talked about some of the, the uh, pure water that we drink, and so we came down to meet her and so forth, and so glad we met what marvelous, marvelous family. The Lord brings his people into our lives. Well, and if I can just share, I put on Facebook, because some people have done so much research about, and I was like new to this journey, so if anyone has any ideas for my mom. Well, Trisha's daughter, Carrie, I knew through our high school, and she said, Judy, like I've been praying for your mom, and if I can just let you know about this alkaline water, please get her alkaline water, because cancer hates acidic. Most people's bodies are very acidic. So thank you. They came, they showed up all the way from London. Mom and I are sitting here in our pajamas because I, <laughs> anyway, thank you. They, and they brought um, jugs and jugs of alkaline water and Trish crocheted this for me and a yellow one for mom and baby blankets for my daughter, Lexi. So thank you. She just, so Trish, tell us about you. Well, like I say, he's told it all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Judy um, was so great at my daughter at when my daughter told me about Judy and then she came to my granddaughter. This is my granddaughter, my lovely one I'm so proud of. Aww, One of them. Wow. And she did YWAM. And yeah. she did YWAM, went to Thailand with the ministry and all that. And uh, 
Cambodia. And um, so when we saw Judy at the fair, I, I really didn't know Judy. And then someone snapped a picture and Judy shared it with us uh, when we were at the garage. But um, I love Vancouver. I miss my kids. I miss my family. But look at all the wonderful people I've met. Aw, mm. well, thanks for coming down, yeah. Trish. Thank you. We go, we go back to Vancouver quite yeah. a bit. And how long have you been here? Uh, since 2010. Oh, wow. Congratulations. Yeah. And Janice. Yeah, Janice. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, I met Margaret through um, Distance Connection, American Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. If you've known oh, Margaret a while, you know that Margaret was at one time a very successful Cadillac driver, top director in Mary Kay. And so I was fortunate enough to um, be brought into her world. And then we found that we had another uh, connection in common, which was Chartwell Church. So, yeah. And I did the makeup for one of her daughters. Which one was that? Mm -hmm. Whose wedding was it, Carolyn? I don't know. Whose wedding did Janice do makeup for? Yours, well, mine, Janice's. Mine. There's only one other thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you did a beautiful job. Aww. <laughs> wow. Well. Yeah. No, so it's a real pleasure to be here. I've been, you know, in and out of Margaret's home. And Bert, I knew Bert, too. The good point is, your makeup must have helped because we're all still married to Jane Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Aww. Yeah, that's yeah, Bert, if anybody knew Bert, he was mm. just a, a very, just a joyful, like, wonderful mm. man, too. Mm. So you were a good team, and uh, it's just been a real blessing to know Jonathan. Yeah, mm -hmm. family. 